Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to the last review in this batch of Black Series 6 inch figures. We're going with number 107, Count Dooku, Darth Tyrannus. Uh, this is a really nice looking figure, it's about time uh, Hasbro have got to this one. I'm sure it's been sitting there in the to-do list for quite a long time. Great to finally have it in hand. Um, some more prequel love is something us Black Series collectors have been striving for um, and it looks like they're starting to deliver. We've got a bunch of Jedi coming up in the next wave so you can pause it right there and have a read if you like. But otherwise, let's crack this bad boy open and get a good look. Here he is fresh out of the packaging, Mr. Count Dooku. This is probably the figure of the wave. Um, for me personally, uh, it's, it's a really solid wave to be honest, um, so it's hard to split them up, but uh, this is going to be a highly sought after one, so I I recommend grabbing him soon. Um, I think this has been on the sought after list for, for a lot of people for quite a long time, and uh, Hasbro's knocked it out of the park. Uh, they really have. Um, I, I sort of settled with the SH Figure Arts one a year ago when that came out. Um, and it just pales in comparison to this. I still love it. Um, I do. I really do like the SH Figure Arts one. But this just really, really takes the cake for me. It's it's outstanding. It really is. I'm, I'm really, really excited to have this figure. Finally, this character in 6-inch scale. I really like the character of Dooku. I th think he's very, very underrated. Uh, the the most recent Dooku Jedi Lost story by Kevin Scott. I highly recommend listening to or reading that book. Um, even though the book is sort of a script form, like it's it reads like a plays um, in the audio book. So go and grab that audio book because it's well worth your time. Um, it doesn't go for for a very long either, so you're not you're not going to lose a great deal of time if you if you're not a fan of it. So. But I recommend giving it a shot. Um, I've always liked Count Dooku. I think he's just a really, really cool character. He's interesting. He's got some history um, in regards to how he turned to the dark side. The fact that he trained Qui-Gon. Um, there's a lot of history there that we don't know about yet. Um, like I said, that book really shines a lot more light on the character. But uh, yeah, he's he's very cool. So let's look at his lightsaber hilt. I'll just pry it from his from his old hands. <laughs> so there we have it. Really, really cool design for this hilt. I like it a lot. Um, I do kind of wish they went with a separate piece, separate hilt with the peg in it. But that's okay. I can live with this. Nice vibrant red blade. And the first time Hasbro has done this, which is a remarkable, remarkable feat, to be honest. I hope they continue to do this as this sort of swinging effect blade. This looks fantastic. Such a cool feature. Um, uh, Hot Toys have done it with a few of their figures now. Um, so for Hasbro to take a page out of their book and say, yeah, we can do that too um, in a smaller scale is just fantastic. It really is. Um, and we're already seeing some great photography on Instagram, people using this effect to get some cool movement. Um, yeah, I really hope they put some more of these out with the incoming Jedi that are, that are coming in the next wave, like Kit Fisto, Plo Koon, Anakin Obi-Wan from Attack of the Clones. I hope they come with this effect. Um, just make great, for, it'd just be a great way to have some dynamic displays for your figures. But uh, yeah, I just, want to, just wanted to froth over that for a moment. I do worry about those pegs sometimes though, I'll be honest. Um, again, the peg there fits nicely onto his belt there, looks good. Always just like the regal, very rigid, old school looked 
to uh, Count Dooku. I think he looks awesome. He's intimidating. Let's get a close look. His head sculpt here. Look at that. He's boring his eyes into your soul. We've got that sort of one eyebrow sort of arched up a little bit more than the other. Which is very, very Christopher Lee. Um, yeah, it just looks fantastic. Really nicely done and sculpted. Really, really nice. Now, if there is one gripe, <laughs> And, and it probably is the only gripe for me and it is, is this sort of chain here that's um, you know just that sort of grey plastic look um, it's not the best look um, but again something really easy to change um, I haven't seen whether it can be removed yet I'm probably not going to try just yet either I'm happy with it sitting there um, I might just get a silver sharpie and just run over that once that's fine uh, the fabric they've used here, it's cut really nicely. It holds really nicely over the shoulders. They've they've nailed that. Um, I like the way that the sort of a little bit of extra material comes and sits above the neck. And just the way it sort of hangs over the shoulders is just brilliant. I hope they take that approach to capes in the future. Um, the most recent Rise of Skywalker, Kylo Ren could have could have used exactly this but in black with a hood stuck to it <laughs> instead of the molded thing we got but just having that extra color underneath brilliant brilliant work Hasbro I'm really really excited with this figure and I have only had him for a couple of hours now uh, articulation wise he has ball jointed head ball jointed neck if we pull that cape back, ball on his shoulders. Um, he has these beautiful butterfly joints, which really bring those arms together at full full stretch. Um, and I have tried posing him like that, and just to have those arms out full stretch like that to the point where they cross over and meet and can hold that lightsaber hilt. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, ball jointed elbows, again, really nice movement. Ball jointed wrists, great. This torso joint, also great. Ball jointed thighs, swivel hips, swivel cut, sorry. Uh, single joint in the knees on this one, no double joint. But again, I think they've actually done a pretty good job of hiding it. Um, the fact that his sort of pants hang down the front of the boot there disguises that joint really nicely. Um, and you can't see it there either so it looks good and the black boots comes down to give him ball jointed ankles as well so just an outstanding figure like I said I'm absolutely thrilled with this one that is a tight fit for the lightsaber which is a win which is a very good thing I hope someone does a custom of him in his exquisite pajamas from Battlefront. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Alright guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching this review. I hope you've enjoyed this batch of Star Wars The Black Series action figure reviews. I'll be back with some more very, very soon. Until then, stay tuned and may the force be with you.